Now, if I was the next regenerated version of the doctor, I could hold up this little bad boy and get out of many a jam, but because we're into taking things way too literally on this show, what I wanna know is, can you actually make a sonic screwdriver? In Doctor Who, the sonic screwdriver is like a Swiss army knife of sci-fi staples. It can destroy stuff and unlock locks and heal minor injuries, but most importantly for our purposes, it can manipulate objects at a distance. Yep, we are getting that specific. Could we ever manipulate objects at a distance sonically? That is to say, with sound. Well, actually, yes. Chances are you've seen a video like this before, so-called acoustic levitation. Now, the droplets suspended here aren't very big or very heavy, but they are, in fact, floating on sound. Here's how it works. Sound is basically just a pressure wave that hits your ears, and you can take advantage of these pressure waves to suspend an object that isn't too large. If you direct sound waves up and down at the particle at the right distances, you can get a particle to ping pong between these areas of high pressure in an area of low pressure in this standing wave known as a node. Floating is cool, but what about the actual manipulation of objects in space? Well, actually, yes, we have that too. This mid-air three-dimensional acoustic levitation device from the University of Tokyo works exactly the same way as the device in the last clip, except it can manipulate where those nodes are in real time and in three dimensions, and it has the benefit of being really awesome. Unfortunately, neither of these techniques makes for a screwdriver that operates on sound waves. For that, we'd need a different kind of sound, and no, no, it's, it's, it, no, not, not, not. To actually twist an object in space using sound waves alone, we would need sound waves that look not like this, but like this. These helix-shaped DNA-looking sound waves would impart rotational momentum instead of just linear momentum. In fact, this is where some research in the scientific field of ultrasonics is heading. Bruce Drinkwater, professor of ultrasonics at the University of Bristol, is probably closer than anyone to making a real-world sonic screwdriver. Here is some video he and his team shot. It shows household flour spinning in an acoustic vortex. It's spinning thanks to a number of tiny ultrasonic speakers arranged in a circle. Granted, that flower particle wasn't very big. It's about one-tenth the width of a human hair or about the size of some of our cells. However, Professor Drinkwater thinks that we have the technology right now to make what he calls a watchmaker's sonic screwdriver able to manipulate the tiniest of screws. Okay, so the technology that we have today isn't nearly as advanced as something that a Gallifreyan would have. However, a real-world sonic screwdriver could aid in microscopic centrifuging or water purification or even diagnosing disease based on how certain cells spin. At least it's nice to know that there is some grain of fact behind the longest running sci-fi series of all time. Why? Because timey, wimey, wibbly, wobbly stuff? And science. <laughs> Want more science? Check out my last video on bringing animals back like Jurassic World. Subscribe to Nerdist for more videos if you want because science two days earlier than anyone else, head to Vessel at Vessel.com slash Nerdist. And as always, if you have any comments or questions or suggestions for future episodes, hit me up in the comment section below. Thanks.